Good evening guys and girls and welcome back to Ange Gaming. Today we're going to be continuing with our class preview series. Today with a very intensive look at all the new abilities and all the new changes to the specs to do with the priest. We'll be starting this with by starting with the holy priest and taking a look at all the different changes that will be happening to them. So let's quickly get into the gameplay of the actual spec. Given the innate purity of the spec of Holy, what they wanted to do was ensure that Holy Priest could continue to have a large repertoire of compelling healing spells. The chakra system was, uh, in their view, cumbersome and required additional setup to optimally use those spells and restricting how much you could fluidly shift between your healing, healing methods. We, uh, well, they have removed it in favor of more dynamic playstyle, focusing around Holy Words. New Holy Word spells are designed to feel absolutely miraculous, having huge effects, balanced and long based cooldowns. The new passive effect of Serendipity allows those long based cooldowns to be reduced, letting you use them more frequently. Finally, in keeping with the resolute beliefs of the Holy Priest, they can make no use of shadow spells. Smites, Holy Fire and Holy Word Chastise are the instruments used by, those, by Holy Priests to inflict damage upon their enemies. So let's take a look at some of the abilities, or core abilities rather, of the spec. Firstly, we have Heal, which is using 2% mana, 40 yard range, 2.5 second cast, a slow but efficient spell that heals an ally for a moderate amount of damage. Next we have Flash Heal, 3.5% mana, 40 yard range, 1.5 second cast, a fast but expensive spell that heals an ally for a moderate amount. We have the new, one of the new Holy Word Ser uh, Serenity, 4% mana, 40 yard range, instant with a 1 minute cooldown. Perform a miracle, healing an ally for an absolutely massive amount. So this is going to be very much an emergency heal. The Prayer of Healing for 8% mana, 40 yard range, 2.5 second cast. A powerful prayer that, prayer that heeds, heals up to 5 injured allies within 15 yards of the target for a strong amount. Next we have Prayer of Mending. 2% mana, 40 yard range, 1.5 second cast, 10 second cooldown. Places a spell on a party or raid member that heals them for a moderate amount the next time they take damage. When the heal occurs, Prayer of Mending jumps to another party or raid member within 20 yards. Jumps up to 5 times and lasts 30 seconds after each jump. Holy Word Sanctify, 5% mana, 40 yard range, instant 1 minute cooldown, releases a miraculous light into a target location, healing up to 6 allies within 10 yards for a huge amount. We next have Renew, 2.5% mana, 40 yard range, instant, fill the, the target with the faith in the light, healing them instantly for a minor amount and then a large amount over 15 seconds. Serendipity, passive. When you cast flash, uh, flash Heal or Heal, the cooldown of Holy Word Seren Serenity is reduced by 6 seconds. When you cast Prayer of Healing or Prayer of Mending, the cooldown of Holy Word Sanctify is reduced by 6 seconds. When you cast Smite or Holy Fire, the cooldown of Holy Word Chastise is reduced by 6, six seconds. And we have the new Mastery called Echo of Light. Your direct healing spells heal for an additional 25% with mastery from typical gear over six seconds. Additionally, just to give you an idea of how of uh, one of the new talents that is wholly specific, we have op apotheosis. I think I'm saying that right. I really hope so. Apotheosis. Instance. Three minute cooldown. Into a pure holy form for 30 seconds, increasing the effects of serendipity by 200%. Overall, for the Holy Priest, it seems they're completely stepping away from anything that is designed in any kind of similar way to any of the Shadow Priest moves, and they're going with a very, very Holy-esque uh, playstyle for you. So if you're a Holy Priest, let me know in the comments below what you think of these changes, and whether you approve or absolutely hate them, and who knows, maybe you'll start a fight in the comments. And next we have the Shadow Priest. Quite a few changes are happening to the Shadow Priest. They've decided that they're having a lot more influence of the old gods on the Shadow Priest as that is the main point of where they draw their power from. And with that they've decided to add a new resource for them, taking away mana and instead using Insanity, which provides a better fit for Shadow, having more of a granularity and gameplay that emphasizes the immense but fleeting power that the Void offers. Mind Blast, Shadow Word, Pain and very 
vampiric touch will build insanity. Reaching maximum insanity will transform shadow will transform shadow form into void form, giving the shadow priest access to stronger void magic, but it is unable to be maintained indefinitely. This should make for interesting gameplay as shadow priests try to maintain the heart of their insanity as long as possible to prey on the minds of their enemies. While not under the effects of insanity, shadow priests continue to rely heavily on abilities that inflict sustained damage over time. Finally, they have turned away from the light shadow priests issue from spells such as heal, flash heal and prayer of mending, power word shield and shadow mend are their primary healing tools. So let's take a look at some of the abilities that make the Shadow Priest stand out and make it feel like a Shadow Priest. Firstly you have Void Form, a passive, when you reach 100 insanity you enter Void Form transforming your mind spells into void spells and increasing your shadow damage by 30%. While in Void Form you gain 2% haste every 1 second. This haste will also persist for 20 seconds after Void Form ends. Void form causes your insanity to constantly drain faster and faster until completely drained and void form ends. So that seems really cool, it's basically a build up until you get to 100. Once there you're going to try and keep your insanity above 1% for as long as possible while, incre while enjoying all of the benefits that it gives. However, as with they said at BlizzCon, it is quite impossible to make it last forever and eventually it is going to run out and you will start back at scratch. Next up we have Mind Flay, 40 yard range and it's channeled. Assault the target's mind with shadow energy, causing minor shadow damage over 3 seconds and slowing their movement speed by 50%. While in Void Form transforms into Void Flay, which also extends Shadow Word Pain's duration by 3 seconds. Then we have Mind Blast, 40 yard range as well, 1.5 second cast and 9 second cooldown. Blasts the target's mind for a strong shadow damage. It generates 15 insanity, which so these this is one of the moves that will help you generate your insanity. While in void form, however, it transforms into void blast, which has a 4.5 second cooldown and also extends vampiric touch by three seconds. Then uh, next we will take a quick look at vampiric touch. It's got 40 yard range as the other ones, 1.5 second cast, etc, etc. A touch of darkness that causes huge shadow damage over 24 seconds and heals the priest for each point of damage dealt. If Vampiric Touch is dispelled, the Dispeller flees in horror for 3 seconds. Each time Vampiric Touch deals damage, it generates 3 insanity. Then next we have Shadow Word Pain, 40 yard range instance. A word of darkness that causes minor shadow damage instantly and an additional huge amount of damage over 18 seconds. Each time Shadow Word Pain deals damage, it generates 3 insanity and has a 10% chance to reset the cooldown of Mind Blast. And we'll take a quick look at their mastery. Their mastery is now called Madness. It increases the damage and insanity generation of your Mind Blast, Shadow Word Pain, Vampiric Touch and Shadow Word death by 20% with mastery from typical gear. And then a quick look at one of the shadow specific talents is called Oblivion. It's instant, it's got a 2 minute cooldown and let the power of the void flow through you young one. Sorry about that. Instantly generating 100 insanity. So that's really a cool little talent to get just to make sure that you're as Hopefully what you'll be able to use with that talent is the second that you run out of insanity You'll just simply pop that get back into your void form and try hold on to it for another two minutes until that reset So at least that's what I'm imagining that they'll be trying to do Overall I have to say that I really like the way that uh, shadow priests are starting to come out here They look very defined very different to any of the other priest styles very very specific and I think this new insanity uh, sort of resource is looking really cool and really really reflects what the shadow priest is all about as well as their dark masters the old gods Now let's take a look at the discipline priests uh, Beforehand they were a lot more to do though at the moment what they're a lot more to do with is throwing out shields and making prevention mechanics and at the moment they just Blizzard doesn't seem to really enjoy that and will think that it's it's really good gameplay as it leaves most of the time a lot of healers with nothing to do. To alleviate that issue, they're tempering Discipline's emphasis on shields in lieu of a reimagined atonement mechanic. 
Disciplined priests are now more clearly defined by their use of both holy and shadow magic, and that extends to how they function in combat. Sacrificing a portion of healing ability and having a reduced focus on absorption spells, they gain a significant contribution in damage. Still filling a healer role in, content, in group content, they aim to strike a balance between healing allies and damaging en enemies in a unique gameplay style. Disciplined priests have a strong cooldowns with power word barrier and pain suppression, along with rapture, a new cooldown that temporarily removes the cooldown of power world shield. So let's take a quick look at the different kinds of core abilities they'll be using. Firstly, we have Atonement. It's a passive, it's a plea, power shield, and shadow mend also apply atonement to your target for 15 seconds. When you deal spell damage, you instantly heal all targets affected by atonement for 50% of the damage done. Healing is not split between atonements. The more allies you have atonement on, the more he total healing that a damage spell will cause. Mastery is Absolution. Increases the healing transferred through atonement by 28% with mastery from typical gear. In their defensive area, they have Plea. It's 1.2% mana, 40 yard range, and instant. A quick, efficient plea to heal an ally for a minor amount. Next, you have Shadow Mend, 3% mana, 40 yard range. Wrap an ally in shadows which healed them for a large amount but at a price. The ally will take minor damage every one second until they have taken half that amount of total damage from all sources or leave combat. That's a bit of a weird one I do have to say. Next we have Power World Shield which is 3.5% mana, 40 yard range, instant, 6 second cooldown. Shield an ally absorbing a large amount of damage lasts 15 seconds. While the shield holds, spell casting will not be delayed by damage. Next we have Power Word Radiance, 7% mana, 40 yard range, 2.5 second cast. A burst of light that heals a friendly target and their 5 nearby allies for a moderate amount and applies atonement for 50% of its normal duration. Taking a look at the, at the offensive spells of the Disciplined Priest, firstly we have Smite for a very small amount of mana, less than 1%. The 40 yard range, you smite an enemy for moderate holy damage. Next we have Mind Blast, 3% mana, 40 yard range. Blast the target's mind for strong shadow damage. Then we, of course we have Penance, which is channel, 2.5% uh, mana. 40 yard range, launches a volley of holy light at the target, causing huge holy damage over 2 seconds. Channelable while moving, I'm not, I don't think that was there before, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Next we have Revelation, passive, your smite and mind blast casts have a 30% chance to reset the cooldown on penance, which is quite cool. Shadow word pain, 2% mana, 40 yard range, instant, a word of darkness that causes minor shadow damage instantly and an additional huge amount of shadow damage over 18 seconds. And lastly we have a quick look at their, one of their discipline specific talents, we have Grace, which is a passive, it increases your non-atonement healing and absorption by 30% on targets with atonement. To take a look at this uh, spec, uh, just, I really would need to see what this is going to look like in beta, because at the moment I have no idea how it would quite work out. It's both a damage dealer and a healer, I just don't know if this will actually work out as something that people will especially want in their groups, especially for raiding, if because uh, it will be reliant, I'm guessing, upon their DPS to be able to put out their HPS. But let me know in the comments below what your own views are. Personally, I'm not exactly loving it, but mainly because it looks like they are trying to make the most complicated spec ever. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any, if you want to voice your own opinions on the on the current changes to this class, please post it in the comments below. I'd really like to see your opinions. Thanks so much again for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.